what are ornamental plants? Did you know that not all plants bear flowers? Hello people, good day teacher Helen and to my fellow students. I hope that you are all in good shape and always protected by our Lord. My prayers are for your safety. Well, I am here to talk about ornamental plants. Throughout the video, I hope you'll gain more knowledge about these types of plants and will serve as a reminder that plants are beneficial little organisms that help us survive. Let's start guys! What are ornamental plants? Ornamental plants are also referred to as garden plants have beauty as their main trait. They are usually grown in the flower garden for the display of their flowers. It is a plant primarily grown for its beauty either for screening, accent, specimen, color, or aesthetic reasons. What are the two major kinds of ornamental plants? Number one, flowering plants. The flower plants, a plant that produces flowers, fruit, and seeds. One box. Angiosperm is a plant that has flowers and produces seeds enclosed within a carpel. The angiosperms are a large group and include herbaceous plants, shrubs, grasses, and most trees. Number two, dog flowering plants. Well, in this video, I will talk more about non flowering plants. Good day, ladies. Did you know that not all plants bear flowers. They are called the non-flowering plants. Now, let's discover the amazing things about them. What are non-flowering plants? Producing no flowers, specifically Lacking a flowering stage in the life cycle, it also doesn't bear fruits. Mm, what would make them useful to us? Well, basically, non-flowering plants are the plants that do not use flowers to reproduce. Therefore, you cannot see flowers in their structure, but it helps us a lot. Some trees are non-flowering. It serves an important job to humans. They give much oxygen we need to breathe. The tree provides shed to us and homes for birds and squirrels. It also holds the grounds so that when floods come, it protects the soil from corrosion. There are many kinds of non-flowering plants. But how do they reproduce? Quack. 
Why there are still many of them? <laughs> now let's classify them into two main groups. First group is a group that reproduces spores. What is spores? Spores are reproductive cell capable of developing into a new in individual without fusion with another reproductive cell. Spores produced by bacteria, fungi, algae, and plants. Spores are cells that are very, very small. In fact, they are microscopic, which means they are so small that you cannot see them through your eyes. The spores, when released, they travel to the air and water and leave the plant. When these spores land in certain places, they form new cells and eventually new plants that will grow. Plants with spores usually have only one single cell and they grow in huge numbers. Because spores are super light, that they just float in the air and can travel far when they continue to reproduce. An example of spores berry plants is the fern. Ferns produce spores placing on the undersides of the leaves. This looks like a brown spot. At some point, the casing dries out, and spores are released into the air. Ferns live in the damp area, and most of them do not have their real roots and leaves. And their leaves are called fronds. What are fronds? A frond is a form of leaf that is commonly found on ferns or pulps. Mosses is another plant that grows from spores. These are plants that are soft and most of the time spongy and naturally grow a few inches only. They stick to rock and soil by using what is called rhizoid or short growth. The second group are non-flowering plants that use seeds to reproduce. This is called gymnosperm. What is gymnosperm? Gymnosperm is a vascular plant that reproduces by means of an exposed seed or ovule. Unlike angiosperms or flowering plants, whose seeds are enclosed by mature ovaries or fruits. How they can have seeds if they don't have any fruits? Well, first, the word gymnosperms mean, means naked seeds because the seeds are not covered unlike the seeds in the flowering plants. These seeds fly widely in the air and help other non-flowering plants to form. One of them are called conifer. Conifer are plants that have seeds found inside the cones. Conifer means bearing cones. Most of those conifers are the cypress tree, firs, and pine trees, and more. Like flowering plants, Cones has gender, the male and female. Male are the one who releases the pollens. When the winds, insects, and animals carry the pollen, and if the pollen land on the female cone, then the cone will make seeds. The cone is very protective. It safeguards them from growing hard scales. The seeds that are inside the cone are called winged seeds. When the seeds are released, they fly through the air until they reach the ground and germinate, which means beginning to grow. 
that's it. Non-flowering plants may not be as colorful as a plant giving flowers and may not give you any food to eat, but they do a lot to help the earth become a better place to live. I hope you listened and learned. Thanks for watching. Bye!